So we're here in downtown uh, Salt Lake City. It's uh, December 6, 2008. I'm here with Mark Gaffney. And uh, this is my third trip, all thanks to Mark, since uh, July 3rd was when I first came out here. And uh, I've uh, really fallen in love with Salt Lake City. It's just like a cleanness and a wholesomeness. And, I mean, the air is clean and the people and the streets are clean and everything's clean. So. How, how did you end up here in Salt Lake, Mark? Um, I came to Salt Lake because I had some good friends here. Right. And so at a time of transition in my life, it was a, a place to come and to rest and to gather my thoughts and energy. And I've also actually fallen in love with Salt Lake. It's, yeah. a, it's quite a beautiful city. It's got a very clean, healthy, and, and deep energy of spirit. You know, the Mormons are very, very strong in Salt Lake County and have a deep sense of connection to the Divine Presence. Right. You know, a deep sense of purpose. You know, a deep sense of family. And, you know, we're, we're right now before Christmas, and you can actually, I mean, you look around, you see thousands of uh, kids and families out. They're out to see the Christmas lights, and I've always loved Christmas. I've loved Christmas, you know, because of its implications for ethical monotheism. You know, it's about ethical action, it's about, you know, commitment to friends. It's about giving, not receiving. What's gift giving about? You know, in that sense, a country, you know, the, 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 the fabric of America is stronger with Christmas. And the energy in the air is really about the best in the human being. And in that sense, you know, I just, I, I delight. <laughs> so it's, it's wonderful to be here on this uh, Saturday night in Salt Lake City in Utah. You know, and just enjoying you know, human beings coming out with their families and their friends and, you know, wanting to be at their best, wanting to shine. Now, Salt Lake City isn't exactly a Mormon stronghold. The majority of population is not Mormon, right? Here well, Salt, Salt, Salt Lake County, Salt Lake right, County is, County. is, of course, strongly Mormon. Salt right. Lake City yeah. is actually very, very small. The city has actually 150,000 people. But when we talk about Salt Lake, we mean actually the whole... Um, the whole county. Salt Lake City itself is actually slightly more than 50% non-Mormon, right. right? which is why the mayor, Rocky Anderson, is a, a great guy, you know, is actually a very strong secular liberal. Right. So there's actually a very strong secular liberal population here. But the, the, the energy, you know, the energy of the whole place is, is, is clearly animated by, by Mormonism and by faith. You know, now, faith. you were talking about Mormon movies. What the heck are Mormon movies? You mean well, Donnie Mor and Marie Osmond? Or? Well, Mormon movies, and actually my friend Dalit and I, you know, love Mormon movies. You know, Mormon movies are really about, you know, people struggling. You know, it's, it's movies about people struggling with faith, people struggling with, you know, crisis, people struggling with depression. But, you know, in, in, you know from a context of faith, you know, and, and how, you know, God in the second person, a living presence of the divine, right, invites human being and raises a human being up, and how prayer, you know, is a living part of life, and, and how people live spirit in life, you know, as opposed to churches or synagogues, which become kind of mausoleums of the faith, you know, which become museums of faith. You know, Mormonism, you know, faith is alive. Right, and a, and a living relationship with the divine, you know, is alive. And it's a particular moment, you know, it's a particular face, you know, of God. As we say in, in Judaism, you know, the Torah begins with the creation of the human being, not with the story of the Jewish people, unlike many, many faith documents, because all human beings are descended from the same divine source, and there's many expressions of faith that are real. And, and those expressions need to be honored and need to be recognized and need to be rejoiced in. What do you mean God is in the second person? God in the second person means I have a second person relationship with God. I'm in a conversation with God. Right. I speak to God. Right? God speaks to me. That's prophecy is God speaking to me. Right. Prayer is me speaking to God as right. opposed to, let's say, a Buddhist moment. Right. Which would be God in the first person, meaning right. realizing I am, right, realizing my identity with divinity. This is more of a conversation. Shall we wander around? Let's actually, I want to, I want to okay. look. 